The championship chase is on. We are two days and 21 hours away from kickoff when our Georgia Bulldogs will take on the TCU Horned Frogs. And what a glorious run this has been. Hopefully the dogs can get a second natty in a row. That's what so many of us are hoping for. Glory, glory indeed. I cannot wait for this game, Jennifer. We are here to get you ready for the big game on Monday, starting with our crews out in Los Angeles. So let's send you straight out to Reggie Chapman. He got into town last night. So Reggie, how are the West Coast vibes treating you and the dogs? Oh man, the West Coast vibes are fantastic here outside of SoFi Stadium ahead of the big game. The countdown continues. Georgia versus TCU for all the marbles in the national championship game. Two teams that got to this position in very different ways. TCU, of course, looking to pull off the Cinderella season while the dog is hoping to win their second straight national title. Now, TCU got off the plane first at LAX, got off and had a good time out on the tarmac and joined the DJs playing music on the tarmac and taking pictures in front of the 2023 sign. Meanwhile, for the dogs, it was a little bit more business oriented. Hopping off of a Delta jet with Vince Dooley's name on the side to honor the late great coach and athletic director. Both these teams excited for the big game on Monday. We got a chance to talk to both coaches who are both excited to continue preparations ahead of the big game. The players put us in this position. It's really not about me. It's about our organization, our university, and um, it doesn't come without a lot of hard work. And uh, our guys have took that hard work head on. It's nice, you know, we're not here for too long uh, before the game. I think it's just the right amount of time to, to let our players get focused in and, and settled in. And, you know, we do have a couple of days left to prepare, and those are going to be really important days. And one of the hardest things to do in all sports is finish, and we've got an opportunity to uh, uh, finish a really good season on Monday night, and we've got a great opponent to go through to get there. So just an honor to be on the stage. Kirby Smart told us that once they got back to the hotel, they did get a workout in today just to make sure they got their legs ready. Up next, they've got media day in the morning before they get back out on the practice field as they continue their preparation for Monday. Coming up a little bit later in sports, Maria Martin joins the show and talks about this dogs team and how they've continued to improve throughout the season, how they've got themselves ready for this big stage. This is really exciting. Yeah. I was going to ask you, Reggie, a lot of fans will be heading out to California from Georgia tomorrow, maybe on Sunday, maybe even early on Monday. What have you seen out there so far that those fans should be looking for? What's exciting? What's going on out there in L.A.? Well, there's plenty to do for the fans out here in Los Angeles. They've got a fan fest. They get a chance to be able to enjoy uh, all the festivities ahead of the big game. Of course, there's different concerts. It's going to be an incredible scene. And of course, it's Los Angeles. The stage is set and it's a great place for a game like this. My only question for you, Reggie, tonight. Have you been to Randy's Donuts? <laughs> Not yet. No, I haven't been over to Randy's Donuts. And funny enough, everybody knows Randy's Donuts because they've got that big donut on top of their building. They actually have a big 2023 sign over that big donut, which I don't actually agree with. I think it should have kept it normal. But look, this is the national championship <laughs> game. It is the biggest game in town. And it's an exciting moment for everybody here in Los Angeles. Randy's in and out. Oh, and by the way, a national championship game on Monday. A lot to look forward to <laughs> out in L.A. Food and football. Yeah, right? And I saw Jerry's picture early of the in and out burger that you just yes. mentioned. So there, there is a football game going on there more than food, yeah. right?